There's a look at the different community groups that were helped in 2011 alone. Here to tell us all about the store, president of the Almont Community Coordinators, Glenda Jones. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's nice to be here. We have driven by the hub so many times when we've been through Elmont, but I've never been through the doors. You're not supposed to drive past. You're supposed to come through the doors. Well, especially with the catchy sign. I'm yeah. surprised that I wasn't drawn in sooner. Uh, the sign is pretty interesting. That was created by local artist Rosemary Leach. Mm -hmm. And we have a piece of the sign left that at some point we're hoping is going to be on the uh, Bridge Street mm -hmm. side of our building too. So. And was that too, along with everything that's in the store, donated? Yes, it was. Yeah, uh, people in this community have a real attachment to the hub, mm -hmm. mainly because all the money that is created here goes back into our community. Mm -hmm. So for 39 years, the hub has been a fixture on Mill Street. Uh, first of all, down the street and now here in this building. Mm -hmm. I would say we're probably the longest running business in Elmont, which we're really proud of. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the hub was started by the Elmont Community Coordinators mm -hmm. as a way to raise money for CHEO. And once CHEO got up and going, then we came back to the focus of our own community. And since then, the hub has raised money and started things like Interval House in Carlton Place, um, TIPS, the Young People's Group here in Almont, and our project right now is to create a hospice here in, in Mississippi Mills. So our projects are long ranging, they have touched everyone from babies to seniors. Mm -hmm. And, and why was CHEO originally chosen as the charity of choice? It was uh, just starting up and people here in this community knew they were going to be using it too and mm -hmm. felt that there must be something we could contribute from this end. Mm -hmm. And so they did. <laughs> it, it's I, been a very dynamic group of women mm -hmm. that have run this association. We have had men involved from time to time. Mm -hmm. but. In large, it's women who've done this. And, um, and not just women, we've also got uh, a friendly uh, pooch down here. He's in the store almost every day. He's here almost every day. This is Winston. <laughs> Hello, Winston. Uh, Winston comes with his owner, Catherine Sykes, <laughs> who's one of our faithful volunteers who works on Wednesday mornings. Mm -hmm. And Winston toddles home with Catherine and then toddles back down here in the mm -hmm. afternoons. So. <laughs> and apart from uh, the cleaner, and as far as I understand, a few people who are hired to sort through the numerous items that are donated here at the Hub, it's all volunteer driven? It's all volunteer driven, mm -hmm. uh, which again is, is one of the things that connects us to the community. Mm -hmm. We have people of all ages coming in here and saying, can I work here at the Hub? And the answer is always yes, yes, yes. Of course, well, I mean, how many pounds of clothing approximately are being donated oh. to this store alone every year? I couldn't even tell you. Tough to put a number on it. It is. We have a vault, and the vault is full every single day with donated items. So now, um, I think a little bit later on the show, we're going to take a tour of the store. Yes, you are. And look at all of the different items that are offered here. But it's not just the hub. There's also another store called Rebound here in Almont that's doing something similar. So stay with us. We'll tell you all about the two of them a little bit later on CTV Morning Live.